buying tonight. Uh, hope all is well with you and your family. I told you I was going to come back with a little sewing tonight on my cathedral window quilt. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of um, fair warning. I'm babysitting. My daughter is out with her boss. He took her out to dinner tonight. Ain't that nice? It's so nice. But anyway, um, so I may have to stop because you may hear a nah, nah. This one, I always warn in here because this house is live. Got two children here and three dogs. So somebody's gonna let you know that they're here. But anyway, we're gonna get to the sewing. I'm going to come back and I'm gonna drop my camera and hopefully get a very good angle on it. I'm sitting at my grandson's desk. Um, and I'm also here tonight. And uh, I'll y'all know what kind of needles I'm using too. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I might need it to set up my lights, but I didn't. But I'm finishing up this orange block right here. Finishing it up. And I think my next, this will be my next block. So I think I'm going to put a little, I had a little Ninja Turtle. These are scrappy blocks. They're made from various quilts. This is actually the first quilt I finished was my grandson's quilt. So he had Ninja Turtles, started out with Ninja Turtles. And you'll find a puppy. So it'll be nice. And you are my granddaughter's princess and... So it'd be nice when people look at this quilt. Here's the face of a puppy. Where'd he go? Where did that little sucker go? There he goes. Uh, he's got a husky, but the black one got cut off. But anyway, it'd be nice when people look at the quilt and say, Oh my God, there's a dog. Or there's a ninja turtle. We all know ninja turtles if we got children around. So we're going to do a little bit of hand sewing. Like I say, I may have to stop. I'm going to try to keep it so you guys can see it. And what's, oh, I'm going to show you my needles. I like the scrawl needles, but I've been using these because the scrawl needles been a lot. And these kind of hold up a little while. So I've been using those. And I thought about my bobbin in here. But evidently I didn't. So, I'm going to go with this bobbin here. It may not work for me too much, but I'm going to go with that one right for right now. So I hope everybody's doing good. I um, hope all uh, everybody is uh, well and enjoying the rest of the summer because it's almost over. But we're going to finish this block up here. And uh, I want to show you guys. I'm probably going to stop this video and show you how I do, how I have my knots in here. So you don't have to worry about your knots showing uh, once you run out of thread or, you know, re-thread your needle. But I had had someone to ask me how to do the center blocks. And I know I have a video on that. But it don't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all to show it again. Because sometimes, you know, people, and I myself, have to be shown things several times. Uh, my daughter, especially with this equipment, I still ain't got my camera rolling. So this video is not going to be as long as I would like until I get that up and rolling. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I can't get the settings right on it. And uh, my son has just been so busy that he hadn't had, a time, hadn't had the time to help me with it. My daughter, she knows nothing of it. My lighting may not be too good. I may, you guys may not be seeing this good enough. I may have to bring another light over here. 
And somehow I got that. Let me pull it. And you're going to make mistakes. Don't worry about it, honey. And that's why I know my lighting is not good because I can't see what I'm doing here. Maybe somehow I got behind it. Oh, well. We will carry on. You know, nobody's never going to see that stitch. Not a soul. I don't think my light off my... Let me see if that'll work. I'm not gonna fall over y'all. Just look like I was. Let's see. That'll put a little bit more light over here. Just a second. Y'all think y'all let the disc go. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, it's not gonna give us much more lighting. I may have to go set up my I got a beautiful light uh section. I may have to come and set that up, but maybe y'all can see it a little better. I'm hoping. I should have checked my lighting. See that shows you I'm not perfect. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm winging this. As, as they you say, fake it till you make it, you know? And that's what I'm doing. I'm faking it till I make it. One day I'm going to look back at these videos and be like, oh my God, why was people even watching these things? Let everybody, all of you know that everybody's got to start somewhere. These needles, they been also, but they're not... It's quick to be in. The scrawl needles are, they're really sharp, but they're really thin. And they bend. It really bend. So I get these needles from Joanne. Really, you just have to, you just have to, needles are so cheap. Just buy your pack. Uh, what you think you may want. Excuse me. And what you think you may use? Just have. Um, I don't. I don't. I hadn't even seen a pack of needles that cost over three dollars. So, and needles are very cheap. And just figure out what works for you. You know, these may not work for you. Uh, I picked them up at Joann's to give them a try, and so far they've been working pretty good on this. You see, you got to watch your, make sure both of your threads land. And just because of my uh, thread was twisted. But just go to Joann's, go to um, any craft place or sewing place. And just pick up you some needles. You always want to look for sharp. I mean, I, that's what I base them on. If they say sharp, then I try them. Uh, the scrawl needles are pretty long. They are really long. So, with that being said, you know, you feel like you are, got a torpedo in your hand. But see, I'm going... I'm gonna go into this block right here. So, I'm just setting my needle up. I'm running it through there. Setting it up. Right over that block. I'm lucky to get right over it. Sometimes I get right in the middle of it. It just really depends. So, you know, this, like I say, a quilt should teach you something. Now I'm gonna fold this. Sounds like I'm gonna have to go check on Cookie. She doesn't seem to be happy. Uh, and Dominic is not trying to pacify her. He's playing a, a game. But she's eating dinner. She's just fussy because she wants to get out and walk around. And if she was doing that, Lord knows I couldn't make a video. She beat and took the camera off and ran off and whatever 
but I wanna, I just wanna spend some time with you on this. You know, somebody just may need to see me actually sew. I mean, you know, some of you may, may not need to, but you know, for the beginners, and I know when I was a beginner, every little bit helped me. So this may be a good little thing. Make sure you keep your stitches tight. As, as you see, you need to change this. And see, this is why I don't like these bobbins. The needle slips for me. But, because um, I'm probably not doing something right. But, as you can see, I'm just going right up under that fold where I fold it down and just taking a small well my thread broke see this that means that I probably need to get a new needle but I'm gonna fix this and I'm gonna come back because this one right here I won't be able to show you how to how to really hide the knot but I'll be right back Okay, I told you I wasn't going to be able to show you how to do the knot, but I am. Uh, actually, you want to go back in. See, this this right here is folded. So, you want to make sure you're not coming out on either side. You just want to slide. And what I'm doing is I'm hiding the tails. Let me see. I came out over here. And my knot was my knot was right here. I'm gonna show you and just pull it. I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna change needles here. This needle is bent so much, and I'll show you how to hide that knot. It's just like if you hand sew, and I only put a little bitty knot in it because I don't want it going. It you know. Don't want to fight with it, but it's just like when you hand so I I need to start right back at this spot right here with my other knot. So I'm gonna pick up down here, and I'm gonna make sure that I think there was a fly just flew by. I'm make sure it's not coming out on either side, and I'm gonna aim right where I need to, right where I need to come out. You see that? And I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to get my little knot. I'm going to make sure I get my little knot. It's a good thing to put your nail there. You can kind of stop it. I'm going to put my nail there. And there's my knot. And you may hear it pop and you may not. Yeah, he didn't hear it. Okay, so, and that way, you don't, on the back, you don't see a knot, you don't see anything. So nobody will never know. But what I do is, just to make sure that, because that knot is so small, to make sure that it does not pull through, I would just make a back stitch right there. Where I came out, I'll just back stitch. Just go up under there and back stitch and come out right there in front of it. And that way it's secure. You know, just just wanna I just want to take the time and make sure that nothing comes apart, you know. Um and I got my pen in there and of course it cut on the head of my pen. But I just wanna make sure everything stays smooth. So Ninja Turtle block here. That is, um, like I say, that's one of the fabrics. It's my first quilt. So, you know, you could go and pick out just some colors and make. I had one person tell me that she made a blue one, I think it was. Some people want to pick out their colors, you know, uh, want to just have maybe one or two colors. I have a lot, and this right here is a, a two-inch block. Like I say, I can get the two-inch blocks to fit in here, but when I, if I had to cut any, 
I cut them like a two and a quarter. And I have some two and a quarter, so. I don't think I'm going to have to cut any more blocks. I feel like I got plenty. Um, I'm not going to cut any more. I'm going to work with what I got. Same with the hexagon quilt. Grandmother's flower garden. I'm going to work with what I got and whatever I need after that. That's what we'll do. I hope y'all are all doing good. You know, I was sitting out today. Um, I like to sit out. And I was thinking about when I was a little girl, you know, we talk about how hot it is. When I was a little girl, I used to love to visit my grandparents because they had a farm. And the city was boring to me. So I like that farm. You know, I love being behind my grandfather. We only had one brother, so us girls was definitely tomboys. And we had our own horses and the whole nine. We used to go horseback riding. I used to go hunting with my grandpa, my papa, and uh, me and my sisters. My brother was never into that. It was crazy. He's the baby. But I think we pampered him too much. But And I was thinking when I was sitting out there, I was sitting on the swing, which it has a, a canvas over it. And I was thinking when we were kids, we used to sit up under the shade tree. And we would run from the sun. I don't know if any of you ran from the sun um, back in your day. We didn't have no air conditioner. We had a box fan. And we slept under at night. And during the day, they didn't run it because it, it just pulled in hot air. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they used to turn it backwards and pull all the hot air out the house. I I'm gonna have to ask my mom about that, but I really think that's, cause I remember my grandmother saying, we gotta get all the hot air out the house. And um, I would love to sleep with her and her big, her big old bed, which it seemed like it was really big to me at that time because I was just a little something. But, you know, I was just sitting out there thinking of just fun memories, you know. We got so much going on. It just sometimes you have to sit out and watch the birds and the squirrels. We got a squirrel that made a nest in the tree. This tree hangs over the house. And, uh, she loves to run on the privacy fence and run up on the roof and jump on the house when I'm sitting out there. And of course the dogs always go at her, you know, but she's smart. And I know she's had her babies. I got to watch her make her nest. And I was so excited about her making her nest, but I hadn't seen the babies, but I have saw some little ones. I don't know for sure if they're her babies, because they like to come up to the door. And my daughter's dog thinks she's a hunting dog. Now you see I fold that. I just, I'm at the end. And I'm just going to fold it over. And start sewing down to that point. Uh, and just keep going. Yeah. Uh, Key thinks she's a. Uh, she's a little now, so she thinks she's a hunter, which they are hunters. But uh, she don't have to scavenge for her food. You know? She she whoops the baby. She scavenges with the baby. Eat everything the baby drops. But uh, she loves to hunt. And uh, she'll see him at that door. Because we got a glass scream there. And she'll see him, and she nearly tear that scream up trying to get to him. It's so funny. And me and my daughter always say, I wonder if what happen if she catches him. I think she would turn it loose. She wants to play with it. Uh, she's two years old. She ain't going to hurt none. At least I hope she wouldn't. She had brought frogs in the house, and she didn't kill them. She just decided she wanted us to see what she had found. Now, my little Yorkie, he don't do any of that. Or my Husky, they they just look at her. My Husky just kind of protects her to make sure she grabs hold to nothing that she can't handle. <laughs> I 
But I was just thinking today, I mean, you know, just, you know, when I'm sewing sometimes at night or when I'm just sitting alone, I guess this, this uh, COVID has gave, you know, you can either go crazy or you can just reminisce. And I, I find it nice to reminisce. You got time to reminisce. Well, I know a lot of people are back to work. My daughter, she works at home. And um, so normally due to during the day, I am running behind Cookie now that she's walking. And the only time I get to sew during the day is when I go to pick up my grandson. So I sit and I sew. I either sew on this or I sew on my grandmother's flower garden. And the way I figured I'm going to work that because I want to continue to do some work on it also. I'm going to do two days a week on it, and the rest of the time I'm going to work on this because I want to get this one done. <laughs> there goes that fly again. Um, I don't know if you guys saw him swoop through. I want to get this one off, and then I'll, of course, I pick up me another hand one. Uh, you know what? I think I picked up the same needle. Cause this one's bent but I figured it out after I'll let you guys go but I just wanted to come and hopefully you guys can see this if you want to see more videos like this I know it was a little rocky at the beginning because of the baby but I you know maybe I should put a warning sign on my videos this house is a lie and I like that because I'm an empty nester. And if I wasn't here, I would be crazy. Well, I wouldn't be crazy. I found something to do. Because I'm single and it's just me and my dogs. I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person. So I'll be the dog lady with the dogs. I only got two. I ain't getting no more than that. They're too expensive. And then when you get to that end... You know, this you will figure out which way to gather your quilt. At the end here, these are at the end. You try to gather it at the end, pull your little flyaways away. You can always tell where I've been sewing because you can find pieces, bits and pieces of thread. And I usually try to hold it. But whatever reason, I hold it like that, and then when I get, when I really get to it, I just ball it up in my hand. As long as you keep that back, your back smooth, you can ball it up in your hand any way you want, and you can fold your end down. Once you get this end folded down and start on it, the rest is pretty easy. I, don't have, I didn't put my gloves on because I wanted y'all to be able to see what I was doing. And uh, I forgot to bring my thimble. But we will have many more emails like this. I'm really lucky that the kids ain't made me cut off the video. And uh, come and see them. But she was crying and Dominic said, I got her. So... She's quiet now. He's in taking care of her. I hope in a good way. He's pretty good with her. He's pretty good with her. He knows what she likes and what she don't like. And she's probably crying because he was too far away from her. So, told you. There's my husky. In my Yorkie. Two loudest ones. But, uh, my husky like to answer them when they get up. My daughter must be coming in when they start barking. He started uh, whining and killing over. Talking to me. I guess he's letting me know that 
something's going on or somebody's out there. He talks to me like that too when he wants to go outside. Every time I tell him, okay, hold on, hold on. He fusses on me like that and tell him, okay, Ziggy, enough, enough. Coming in. So, Ziggy, Ziggy. Oh, thank you, Carl. The ball sent us dinner. Quiet, Ziggy. I'm quiet. <laughs> that was nice. Quiet and Ziggy down, I'm filming, please. Quiet and Ziggy, I'm filming. Make your dog, make your dog be quiet. Make your dog be quiet, I'm filming. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we have enough for tonight. I guess the dogs are. Uh, she's gonna let them go outside. There's enough light on this for you guys to see it. Sorry about that interruption. These dogs, we can be gone five minutes and they act like we've been gone all day. Oh, they just a bunch of spoiled brits is what they are. Thank you, ma'am. But uh, hopefully this will help somebody out and I think I know I have a video on putting my blocks together, but I think, I was thinking today, I think I may, and you guys can let me know in the, in the subscriptions, in the comments, in the comments, sorry about that. If you would like for, to see uh, the, the actual blocks made from the cutting table to the little bitty, I think that's a four inch block to the little bitty uh, blocks that you connect these little bitty blocks to these so y'all let me know if you want to see that if you want to see that I will make that my next video for you and I am going to sow some of my grandmother's flower garden for you all uh, sit and sow some of that Maybe, I'm not going to say on the next video. It may be the next video. And uh, I know I got to get some more blocks cut out because I don't have much more to go on this here before I finish it up. See how much more I got. And it won't take me, I mean, I can do this in a day, but I got to make some more blocks so I can connect them. But I, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to connect, I have four of these, four of the big ones here. I don't know if I'm going to connect all, I have two of them already connected. I don't know if I'm going to connect the other two the same way and then connect them in the middle. So I don't know right now. I may do these here. I may connect one and... Uh, do the middle of it to fill in and then connect the other one and do it that way i think that would probably be a lot more that'd probably be better because it's hot and i would have all this quilt in my lap so i think that's probably what i'm gonna do is connect one and then uh do my blocks and connect the other one all right you guys i hope you all have a blessed evening god bless you and your family see you next time bye bye Thank you.